I started painting in my 20s, uh, having spent some time rather unsuccessfully at, at, at university trying any number of different subjects. But the, the feel of painting, the idea of painting, took hold of me somehow um, in one of those odd moments in one's life when you're deflected from what you think is going to happen. Something else arises. I was looking at, at the paintings of Cezanne and I thought, gosh, here's a guy who can think and feel at the same time, who understands something about the world that I've never seen before, and I want to do that. So I went for drawing classes, as one does, and and started painting. And not so long after that, I started teaching. But my life has been a, a strange mix of things. The Malcolm Gladwell makes the point that there are two kinds of creativity. There's the Picasso avatar, who fresh, smart, sees the opportunity, is what we think of as quick genius, and never looks back, always knows what he's doing. Then there's the other avatar, the Cezanne avatar, which I chose to follow, which is hard work, hard grind, wondering what, you, what am I doing? What is it that I'm trying to say? You never know what it is that you're after, and it's taken me an enormous amount of time, most of my life, actually, to, um, I think, uncover a serious direction for myself, because I don't see myself as a producer of art objects. I tend more to be involved in trying to understand philosophical questions. But uh, this is one of the great difficulties of artists talking about their work, is um, we spend a lot of time thinking about it, a lot of time reading about it. We're obsessed by it. And so on any one day, you only, only get, get the tip of the iceberg of all that mental process, that cognitive, that experiential stuff that goes into it. And most of the time, we don't like to describe what we're doing. We think the work ought to tell that story.